and welcome to the Manchester United v Chelsea preview. We're positive and I tell you what, a message to the right back for Chelsea on Sunday, Ivanovic. Get yourself down the local pharmacy and get a bumper pack of plasters because Martial's about to tear you apart, son. Murder on the dance floor or on Stamford Bridge. But Manchester United, there's my lineup. We'll come to it in a moment. But let's stay positive. Yes, Van Hal, I still believe has got to go. He still isn't good enough, but... It's not often over the last 18 months we've had a great performance and felt positive and life is there for living. You know, when things are going good in life, you've got to enjoy it. And we should enjoy the next few days. And I'm excited about a game for the first time in a long time. We're going to Chelsea. Oh, I don't think they're that good. We can't afford a draw. They'd probably take a draw. We've got to win. We've got to go on the front foot. And I think that's the great thing about the situation now is that Draws aren't good enough. Van Hal can't play the way he wants to play. We've got to win. We've got to go forward. And that's why every pass was forward against Stoke. And long may that continue. So we might get an interesting, exciting few games now because we've got to win games. Spurs and Leicester are doing it. There's still that gap. We've got to keep going. And who knows, if we keep playing this way, the United way, we might actually win something. I said the Europa League might be our best route into the Champions League. And it still well could be. But let's crack on with this lineup. It isn't the team that beat Stoke, and it will be the team that beat Stoke on Sunday. I am realistic, it will be the same 11, but this is what I would go for. I know people will say, oh, you're getting on Fellaini's back. Fellaini played really well against uh, Stoke uh, the other night. I'm not convinced it wasn't Giggs wearing a wig, but you know what? He did play well. But it's what I call the clever, cleverly effect. One sunny day doesn't make a summer. Fellaini's been a very, very poor for a long, long time. He played well against Stoke. Why take that risk against Chelsea? He will go back to form at some point. He's not going to suddenly become a great defensive midfielder. And I still think that if you're given the choice of Schneidel and, Her and Herrera, you pick them over Fellaini. We can do that on Sunday. Let's pick our best team. It's the same with Lingard. Let's pick our best team. I'd like to see Matter out on the right, Herrera in at 10, with Schneidel and Carrick in the midfield. Obviously, Martial on the left. He's the star player at the moment. He's what we need. And that midfield would call problems. Yes, we're playing well. Yes, he won't change the starting eleven. But why go in with two potential weak um, effects in the team in Lingard and Fellaini? Let's let's put our best team out. That's why I'd go with that. It's not really. I fully expect Lingard and Fellaini to start. And you know what? You probably shouldn't change a winning team. But I think our bench is better than what we've got in the first team. And we need to win. So pick your best team. That's why I'd go with that. Chelsea. They've got rid of Ramirez. They're not the team they were. John Terry's last game. It'd be nice to uh, last last game against United at Stamford Bridge. It'd be nice to send him packing uh, on his arse like we did in Moscow. But we've got to go and we've got to win. And I think it's going to be a really good game. Because Chelsea, on their day, they could be quite good. But... We have to win. We've got to go on the front foot. I think we will go on the front foot. But it's interesting. What I just want to touch on Van Hal a little bit is this myth about Sir Alex Ferguson leaving us in a mess. The team against Stoke and, and, and the, the team against Stoke obviously isn't that one because I've changed it slightly. But it, the most players he had in the team were from Louis Van, um, from, with Sir Alex Ferguson with four. Louis Van Hal had three, but had four of his signings on the bench. I mean, this is the thing about Louis Van Hal. I think he's defined by his signings a little bit. He tends to treat his signings quite badly when you think about Herrera, Darmian, Memphis, Di Maria, Falcao. Over the last two years, he's treated his signings quite badly. But this myth about Man United, uh, Sir Alex Ferguson leaving is in a mess. Rooney, Carrick, De Gea, Smalling, the kingpins of our team, really. The only one who, who, who isn't, who, who did quite well, was Matter, and that's one of Moyes' signings, and Fellaini. So Van Hal, for all his philosophy, is still very reliant on Sir Alex Ferguson. I think that's quite an interesting thing to say. But, but, he keeps saying but a lot. We've got to win on Sunday. Do I think we'll win? We don't have a fantastic record against Chelsea. I don't know who the referee is yet. I think that's key. It always is at Chelsea. It tends to be Martin Atkinson and we've been robbed there in the past. We need a strong referee because I think Ivanovic, in all serious, will get torn apart by Martial. And I think he's a red card waiting to happen. So we need that referee. Yellow card early days. And that could define the game. We need a strong referee in this game. I think Chelsea are on the ropes. They've got to win as well. They won't want to lose. We've got to win. It's all exciting. Used to be Chelsea against Manchester United going for the title. This year it's a very different situation. But it's still exciting. As I said, I think both teams have got to win it. And I'm, I'm really, really excited for it. And I think we should be. And you know what? On Monday we could all be crying. Louis van Gaal out again after another dire performance and, and being beaten by Chelsea. But for the moment, we're on a positive. I do agree that Stoke weren't that good. They were surprisingly bad. Peter Crouch in any team now is just is, is a red flag to a bull. And um, I thought they played too, too defensively. But uh, let's go for it against Chelsea on Sunday. I'm going for the win. We've got to be positive. We've got to attack. Thanks for watching. 
Please like the video, it makes a massive difference, and I'll speak to you live after the game on Sunday.